Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how we can install uh, Papercut Mobility Print as a standalone uh, solution. And uh, I've already downloaded the Papercut Mobility Print uh, application here. So we're just going to run that. And we're going to follow through the wizard, accept the agreement, install it. And wait for that uh, to finish. And first thing we're going to do is to create a local account. So we need a admin account to set this up. So the username is admin. We're going to make up a password and confirm that. Fill in your organization and create. And we're now going to uh, set up and configure the Papercut Mobility Print. So uh, it's now discovering uh, local printers that is installed on this uh, uh, host or on this computer. So it will, by default, publish all the printers you have available. Uh, we can go through and select the ones we want to use for mobility print, and that might be all of them, or uh, I'm just going to leave them all. I might just turn them all off for now. And I'm going to find one that I would like to publish. I'm going to turn this one on, so I'm just going to turn one of the printers on and close out of there. So now I've just published one out of the printer queues that I've got available. And to make this a cloud print solution, and uh, this could be a good alternative to Google Cloud Print as well, we're going to... Uh, go down to enable cloud print just a comment on this one discoverable on local subnet i'm just going to leave that as default options which is uh, suitable for any small network and i'm going to enable cloud print so i'll click on that uh, we get this wizard up uh, and we're going to click enable and this takes a little while to do. It's now connecting the server to the cloud. And we're just going to wait for that to complete. OK, now when that's completed, we have this option to create the cloud print invite link. So to configure that, we can give it a description. Uh, I'll just call that uh, cloud print. I'll give it a description. Uh, I can also set a uh, time for this link to expire and also uh, the printing, uh, how long you want to uh, enable this for, or you can just set, simply set it to no expiration and we're going to create the link and you can now see we've got this link here so i can copy that to the dashboard and uh, we're now ready to test printing so if i want to set up uh, uh, printing on uh, from uh, google i can click on, this is just if you just want to set up one a very simple setup with one computer You can see the Windows and Mac is coming soon But we can set this up right now in Google Chrome either on a Chromebook, but also on other computers uh, uh, We can set this up on a Windows computer. That's what I'm going to do now, but install this in the Chrome browser So I'm going to click the client setup And you can now see uh, the uh, printing 
uh, is now installed and you can si see here we're uh, ready to print and uh, if I'm going to print this page now I can go control P and I can select my printer which is if I scroll down in this list here you can see at the bottom I've got this mobility print installed so I can click on that one and I can print and one more thing about the uh, mobility print and the uh, the link to share with other users if you don't have that uh, available or if you lost it you can always log back into your mobility print interface and you can click on I'll just close up you can click on manage your cloud printers and you can see that I've got my I take cloud print that I set up previously on here uh, I can manage this so I can turn off the printing if I want to and I can copy the link to the clipboard and all you have to do to invite users to use this cloud printer is to email that link to uh, your cloud print users all they have to do is click on that and have Google Chrome installed and the uh, cloud printer will then be available to print from their Chrome web, web browser.